in session 19 in the final round robin game for both Sweden and Norway. And we'll keep our eyes on them as Sweden tries to get a spot in the semifinals and be one of the top two seeds. Well, Norway fighting for their playoff lives. Well, second end and chance for Norway to get to. Couple of misses, Huck, double takeouts by Sweden. And Magnus Ramsfeld, chance to hit. And Stick has score two. Just that quiet wait, nicely done by Norway to take a 2-1 lead. Back in the third end, Sweden has something going great. Come arounds by both skips. And then Nicholas Adin trying this angle raise. Trying to hit it right onto the yellow. We'll catch it a little bit off, but still get away using their own and score two. And back and forth, fifth end. A couple of jams, missed double. And then Nicholas Adin has a chance to hit and stick for two. And this one will just over curl. They can't hold the line as it will just clip that red one and push it out of the rings. So Sweden scores one as they have the lead halfway through. And then into the ninth end, the guard by Sweden didn't really protect the draw. Ramsfeld made a great draw on his first, and now a chance to score three and take the lead into the 10th end. And this one will come around enough to get the third point for Norway as they have the lead heading to the 10th end. And in 10, up against the time after two great come arounds, those two in the forefoot. Nicholas Adin has to make this straight back tap into the forefoot to score the second point and finish with the win, scoring two. And Sweden pick up the win as they will be one of the top two seeds and a bye to the semifinal of the World Championship. Sweden finishes. Nicholas, many congratulations. You had control in the first half of the game, but Norway were coming back at you. Yeah, definitely. I think we uh, we played uh, really badly in that nine, ninth end, and he makes two really nice shots in a really tri tricky spot on the ice. So. Uh, had to uh, really take our chances in the 10th end, didn't really get it going, so then just uh, basically had to trust luck in the end. So <laughs> we were definitely lucky to win that um, after those last two ends. But that last end, I mean, you played the guards out front to score your two. Was that your game plan? Uh, the plan was to have two guards, and then when we're wrecked on the third shot, then we have four guards. Then uh, it's going to be a messy end after that for sure. If we make that hack weight hit and roll, we're only uh, two corner guards, so we can maybe peel the front. So then. Uh, yeah, it, it was a lot like that. This game, we couldn't control the ice, and uh, that m made too many mistakes. That makes it really messy and tricky to play. But you're straight through to semis. How much of a boost is it to get that game off and rest? Uh, it was a super important win, so that's uh, the, the frustrating part when we couldn't control the ice and we, we uh, yeah, didn't really play well in that game, but uh, super lucky to still win it and then uh, making the semis a uh, yeah, big relief. And how's the dynamic with Daniel in the head? You're so used to Oscar being there. Yeah, it's uh, super super good uh, with Daniel as well. We we practice a lot with him. We've had him as uh, alternate for four years, so we know each other in and out. So uh, it works really well so far. Well, many congratulations today and good luck in the semi-finals. Thank you so much. Ja, det är så. 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 Ja,